What's up guys? Hopefully you guys are doing good. I'm gonna try to as you guys can see the skies looking pretty pretty epic. I don't know how good you can see through the GoPro, but look at that. So we are in a severe uh, thunderstorm morning. Also have a flood advisory around West Palm. And uh, I'm gonna go down military here. So yeah, we can see some storms uh, developing over, uh, it is raining over uh, Palm Beach Airport. Check this out real quick. It is windy though. It could pick up up to uh, 60 mile per hour gusts. You guys can probably see some things flying around. Right now we do got some uh, some lightning going on. Sounds fake. Holy cow! I haven't heard lightning in a bit. But yeah, this should definitely uh, this should definitely start picking up in a bit here. I'm not in it all the way. Sucks because GoPro um, overexposes some of the the highlights and stuff, especially when you're in a dark area like this. The car. All right, got some lighting over there as well. Let's see what these guys are doing. I don't know if it's turning. Let's check. Love this type of weather, guys. Hey, 
Damn, you already got lights out? Oh, I mean, not lights out, but the power. The traffic. Hold on, could I go? Yeah, I'll go. Make sure nobody dumb, you know? So... Hopefully you guys can see well. Gotta move up just in case. Visibility is about uh, a little bit less, less than a mile for sure. Right now. I mean, like I said, this is Florida. Nothing concerning at the moment. A lot of heavy rain. But who doesn't like, uh, you know, driving this type of stuff? As I do. Dang it, that's good. I cut the recording because we were at the red light for a bit. Hopefully you heard the lightning though.
going too fast, guys, because over here, these streets be flooded for no reason. Yo, look at this guy. He got his electric bike. Hey, this man's wildin'. He was probably already out there, though. Is that gonna be, is that good for the rain? I mean, can you ride those things in the rain? Oh. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I, I would have thought, um, I'm surprised Loxahatchee area didn't, uh, now what's crazy is that last night, um, I did a video on the YouTube channel about like seeing, uh, it was like two in the morning where it could hit, you know, for the HRRR. And it literally, it had a, a bigger amount on, on our area. And I said, ah, I'm gonna wait till the update just to see. And then it was less right now, but it looks like that 2 a.m. update was way better than um, was accurate. It still was accurate. It was still saying we were gonna get rain, but it was a little bit more severe on the 2 a.m. update. Look at this. I know, like I said, this is nothing. This is nothing yet. This ain't nothing, guys. I don't want to make it seem like this is uh, something huge. This is normal Florida weather for us, but. All right, now it's, this is why we need trucks. Visibility. Quarter mile. Not my car. I'm cleaning my car. So I'm not gonna go too far up because I do have an appointment that I gotta get to. And uh, I'm gonna start turning, making a right. Oh, whack a molly, dude. I'm gonna go down Belvedere. Hopefully you guys are having fun. So no, I'm having fun. So yeah, you just gotta um you gotta study a lot those uh look at the forecast tools that uh National Weather Service gives you. They did say that there wasn't going to be a chance for severe, which I had a little bit of doubts on that because of what the soundings, soundings is like uh, the atmosphere, they throw a balloon, they throw a balloon in the air and they kind of give us some information about how the atmosphere is doing. But the information that they had on soundings, I'm surprised. Uh, but there was no, or they thought there was no potential for severe. Because once it started cooking, it started cooking in Miami first. Let me get, I don't know why it went to the city the way, I'm gonna stay in the middle. 
and then uh oh it's flooding on both sides huh yeah so the storm is kind of moving up towards uh very air beach now I'm not gonna follow it and like i said we still got a big chunk of rain that's still heading uh off uh north on the east coast so What do you guys think? Pretty cool? Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm so scared. I'm scared, mommy. I can't wait for hurricane season, guys. Uh, I'm really, really thinking of chasing it this year. If we get any hurricanes coming. I mean, you really can't chase it, but you can chase, you know, the uh, the outer bands, unless it hits directly, I uh, suck. But for what I'm thinking right now, even though the water uh, the waters are warm, uh, maybe maybe we can see something. You know, it's like it's like Florida. East coast of Florida has been getting uh, kind of lucky. I know the west coast with Ian, obviously, but east side like Palm Beach area, we haven't really been, uh, we haven't been getting anything crazy, but the time is soon. It might happen. It's not like I want it to happen, guys, but you know, sometimes we need a little bit of uh, adrenaline in our lives. At least this keeps uh, a little bit of heat away for now. And like I said before, we do need water. We need water. We got dry. We got some dry, really dry areas that need it. All right. Appreciate you. What is he doing? Is he gonna turn? Oh no. Yeah, so we'll see it. Uh, we'll see it slow down here. Area is definitely getting some rain, pretty much all across. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty glad with uh, what I what I think where it was gonna rain. Even though, like I said, Laxahatchee, like nothing yet. Hold on, guys. So yeah. Um, I'm pretty excited. That was my girl calling, my wifey. Uh, I know some people would be like, why do you call her your girl if you're married? I don't know, you know, just my, she's my girl. She's my baby girl, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, yeah, so this rain, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty happy. Um, for sure, the East Coast, Was gonna get it i like i said the information that you get you gotta make your own decision on what you think is gonna happen i would say i'm pretty happy i was kind of going with the 2 a.m 
where it showed more, uh, more, more, uh, how would I say, that it covered more in Palm Beach area, Boynton and all that good stuff. It looked like that, it looked like that happened today, so. You kind of learn some things over time when you do those, when you kind of make your own predictions, which is pretty cool. You learn, you, it's like you get better and better, right? I don't always say everything, because I'm still like learning the process, but there's some things I do on my own, so I can kind of figure out how it works. And it's and it's working pretty well, you know. Like I said, you gotta you gotta rely on some of the information, especially this, you know, the information for the atmosphere. And uh, things can change, you know. Things change over time. That's what I always say. Things change over time, guys. But uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Like I said, this is regular rain now. I should have. Uh, Stayed in a spot where we could have catch the rain incoming next time. We'll do that. We'll plan for that This was just kind of like a, a Rush going out type of video. So either way We'll see uh, We'll see you guys in the next storm that probably pops up next week. We should be expecting some uh, Some more rain because of the uh, moisture that should be coming, you know, you know how it is for uh the hurricane season or just summertime in general we're gonna be getting some rain for june hopefully you know i'm trying to hold on we're gonna get some rain all right guys thank you so much for watching if you watch this whole thing i appreciate you if you want to see more of this type of content please like subscribe to the channel and uh yeah maybe we'll see more you know what i'm saying you'll see more oh.